DTLR Radio. What up, y'all? Welcome to another edition of DTLR Radio Style Suite. King Flex, I'm here, and I'm with the Drip God himself, man. Gunny, hey. what's up, man? Welcome, man. Welcome. Um, so we, we are here on the on the red couch. You know what I'm saying? We keep it hot. Like we 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 want to talk to artists about not just their style of music, um, but their style as far as dress. So we already see that you know you definitely. On, on the fresh game, I see you got the off whites, which we was just talking about. Pretty yeah. comfortable, right? Yeah, for sure. So, where would you say that you get your style from? You know what I'm saying? Being from Atlanta, where would you say you get your style from? Um, shit, probably, like, probably my dad and, and my mom. Oh, they were fresh? Yeah. Yeah. So, what, what? Clean, just, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Keep it together. So, growing up, what would you like typically wear on a regular day? Were you a white tee? No. Nah. And hot kicks or what was the what was the vibe? I wear like shoe fetish, you know mm. what I'm saying? But then clothes too, like I just drip anything like how about Walmart t shirt. Walmart tees and you drip them? Nick somebody will ask me where you get that from? And you'll tell them. Walmart. Straight up, nine ninety nine or less and you make it look What's the science behind that? Like what it's, what's just, you, it's not about how much it costs. When I was younger, like that's just what I had to do to get fresh, you know what I'm saying? Just go Probably like herb not for the little cheap little stoles, mm -hmm. but still cool. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Just go in there, get put your something like together. Yeah. And still come out. You know what I'm saying? Fresh. Off top. There it is. So you said that you got a shoe fetish. So how much shoes would you say that you have at this point? Um, a roundabout number. Are we in the? I like. Well, since I moved, I put all like new shoes at new spot. It's probably about like, probably about a hundred shoes or something mm -hmm. like that. But pretty much sneakers, or do you do like it's dress everything. shoes to everything? Doses, Gucci's, Dior's, mm -hmm. Off Whites, Balmain's. Mm -hmm. Products just different, just something from Walmart possibly too, right? Not the not the shoes. Not the shoes. Not right. with then. Okay, okay. Said, this is now. Alright, guys. So it's it. a little bit. It's a lot different. A lot different. Yeah, but we still it. You know what I'm saying? Go top shop, look. You know what I'm saying? Get some cooler mm -hmm. top. Jean, something like that out there, quick. Yeah. So with DTLR, our slogan is, you know, your fashion, your lifestyle. So we have stores all around the country, including Atlanta, of course. Um, when If you were to step into a DTLR store, what's the first thing that would, you know, captivate? You know, is it the shoe wall? Is it the jerseys, the hats? Shoe wall. Shoe I'm wall. Go look at the Apple One first. That's you your know, favorite kick? Like, first, like, day to day shoe. That's my first, like, favorite. Just all white, neat, like, nice. Or even like like the ones you seen the ones where they like the stick, like the scraps. Yep, like, yep, yep. Yeah, they crazy. You like the ones? Every pair of cream ones, the white ones, the black ones, twice. So do you start your fit when you get in when you get ready to do a show or just a regular day? Do you start your fit from the from the bottom and work your way up, or it just depends on what I want to wear. I might be like I want to wear this, I want to wear this jacket today. Yeah, I'm gonna put everything well with these. I might be like I want to wear these shoes. It just it might it just one thing that I wanna wear I wanna wear the off whites today. Yeah. Yep. So I just Mary Jean, little light, little sex fit jacket. That's how you was feeling today. Just you ain't gonna you ain't gotta really do too much. Mm -hmm. Off whites, cool. Yeah. Chilling. Yeah, exclusive too, definitely. So, um, your style of music. Let's talk about your style of music. When when did you know that you wanted to be an artist? Right about twelve years ago. Mm. What what influenced you at that time? Because twelve years ago you was probably because you're about what twenty five now. So twelve years ago we talking thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. So that was the age. What was out then, or what artists, or maybe some influences that you know got you saying you know I could do that too. Um. Just like art, like a lot of artists. Probably back then I probably listened to uh, Boosie. Mm. Yeah, I probably listened to Boosie. He was like up and coming. Yeah. He hadn't really went mainstream, but he was doing a lot of mainstream. Of course. Like spending, you know what I'm saying? Him and then like Future. Like, yeah. But I probably caught on him like a little later. Yes, yeah, yeah. I yeah. think he jumped off a little later on. But he was like, he was one of But But being, the, being from Atlanta, did, then growing up, so you're saying like pretty much like 13, 12, 13 years ago, is when you got inspired to be an artist. That's did you ever like the did the West Coast intrigue you? Did the East Coast, the, you know what I'm saying, the New York artists, anybody from later on outside? when I started learning music? Yeah. Yeah. They did. Like when um like Nip Nipsey. Mm -hmm. Like 
he like one of the hardest like he cold like, he cold West Coast rappers. You know what I'm saying? So he played like when he dropped like Marathon back then. Yup. Like he would, he had he had a big influence mm. for his West Coast music. And um could you see yourself working with Nipsey on on the record? Could you hear yourself on that record? Soon, soon. Oh, okay. Soon, soon. We are ready to just, mm. just know each other. You okay. So it's only a matter of time. For sure. So what what's gonna style in the studio? Like do you have a formula? Like what all majority of artists, if not all, have like a, a cadence, like a, a a routine that they do when they about to lay lay down something on the on wax. What what's gonna's like style in the in the studio? Mm. Like what are you feeling like when you made you know what I'm saying sold out dates and when you made all these hot street anthems? It just, was it something going on? Is it something you think about? Vibes, just uh, just positive energy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Feel good. We might have just we might have just came from the mall. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Or well, we might just 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 came to the studio, just cause some girls just vibed out. Just living. Yeah, we just it it was just one of a good vibe. Mm -hmm. Good vibes make good songs. Yeah. So with your with your you know huge success with Drip Season Three, um, did you ever see yourself getting that like recognition for just basically talking your life and talking your lifestyle? Did you see it happening like this? Yes. I just didn't know when when not it was gonna be. Just, You've been at it. You've been at it for I've some been time. It. I've been grinding, putting in the work, and I knew like what I wanted to do. You yeah. know what I'm saying? How I want to proceed when I came out. It just was a matter of time for everybody to catch up. You think that the time is now though? It's just yeah, it's for a, sure. It's, a, it's more than bubbling at this point. For sure, it's everybody. Everybody here got the drip, so it's it's at a head now. There it is, right there. So what else is coming down the pipe for Gunna? Um, I got a lot of more music coming up. Not just music. I feel like artists like you, you got anthems at this point. You know what I'm saying? Hits. They anthems. Anthems. Anybody you want to work with? That you know, like you like, yo, we can make a top ten record. I know it if I get in the stool with this person right here. Mm, I'm gonna say somebody like how oh, I, I already said. Cause yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I feel like if I probably get in the studio, like, um, like somebody like um, Chris Brown. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We might can, like we probably make one on ones. I can see that. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's just different vibes. Um, any female artists like like somebody singing on? on yeah. What, what you what you think? Um, I think something like what's the girl there? Um, seven Seven Shooter. Oh, oh, look, there she go right there. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, so the way that you she, first. And um, um, Oh, yeah, Sweetie. Oh, Sweetie. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I like can't hear about it, too. She got a vibe. All right. Oh, man. So, um, what else coming down the pike for Gunner besides music? Any um, concert shows, big stages, festivals? Anything yeah. that you can let us know about with that? Um, I will be at the next row and laugh. Mm. I can't wait for yeah. all of the next row and laugh. I will be there. Yeah, we need you there. That's, them, them, that's for sure. There it is, man. The one and only Gunner, drip season. You know what it is, man. You did. Appreciate it. Love. Sure. Love.